G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Underground Alone and I've done the things that I've been talking about doing and I've updated the mod so a um, little worried about what you guys might end up managing to do to me today hopefully my defenses are adequate because I was actually kind of hoping that I would be able to oh great incoming uh, I'd be able to do some things like I don't know, actually make my base have a little homely bit underground. And maybe make a grinder pit for all these pods that are around here so I can clean up the place a little bit. That might be nice too. Oh, probably should have uh, grabbed more than just six steel plate then. So that's where my head was at at the moment. I was just going to, this week, I'm going to stay away from the drones. So I think I spent enough time last week trying to mess with getting this thing working and yeah I'm just gonna leave it alone for a bit <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna build more traditional defenses if I end up needing more traditional defenses otherwise I'm just gonna wait and see how things go but with the grinder pit um I'm trying to think where I might want to put that there's a part of me that's like, I should use the natural shape of these little valleys that lead into my base and try and use them to push the stuff down into a hole. Perhaps even utilizing this one over here, but that's actually not a great idea because that's not piped up. For, that's not conveyed for components. Guess over here is the only option then. How far am I from that? Oh. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could make a little thing to slide them down. <laughs> slide them down here. That could work. Oh. That was handled. Uh, right. So, this is underground alone, which means I need to start out my day by checking how much magnesium I've got and seeing if I need to collect some more. That's not where I check for magnesium. Why am I looking in the control panel for magnesium? That doesn't work. Uh, 402. I'm gonna go collect some more. That is not enough. And now, I need to scroll down a little bit. Over here. Thanks, Zeranop, for the prime sub. Thank you, Elemental, for the sub and the 104 bits. Yeah, I can do maths. Fuel critical. <laughs> Thank you for the lucky 13 months. Uh, thanks test unit for the 18 months. And I need more. I do have a bit processing, but it's not a lot. So I feel like magnesium, I go through several hundred kilos per stream. It's crazy. I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever taken notice of how much magnesium I've used in a series where I've got a lot of combat. I've certainly had series where I've had this much combat, but I just don't think I've ever taken notice of how much magnesium I went through. Thank you, Tony, for the 18, 15 months? 15 months. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Van Man, for the gift sub and the two months. Thank you very much as well. Oh. Uh, push, 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 push. Push it down the hill. Use my indestructor wheels. Do you know what this really makes me want to do? I want a situation where I can make a bulldozer and just shove suspensions on the front of it and push stuff around into a grinder pit. <laughs> Thank you, Jackson, for 53 months and all the moderation and everything else, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks, Magical Morty. Thank you for the thank you for the prime sub. 
And thank you, Boiler Snake, for the 10 months. Talk. I've noticed, Splitzy, that of all the places you've started a playthrough, you've yet to do a crashed red ship start. Yeah. Uh, I guess that is interesting to an extent, but probably less surprising when you find out that as soon as the crashed red ship, like, when the crashed red ship start was a thing that we could do, I did, and it was like the only sort of, you don't just start with an instant survival pod that can do everything in an organized way. Um, that was how I started. I did the crashed red ship start so many times. Uh, that would be most of what I did before planets were a thing. And I think I had about 500 hours maybe in the game by the time planets were added. And so I guess I just took some inspiration from the ideas that like from the way you start in that when I set up all my particular starting scenarios because they're all kind of along those lines it's starting with something that's broken and building it up and fixing it over time thanks to Kari thank you for the nine months invisible tree great 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 also, thank you all very, very much, as today's the first day of March for me, but it's still the last day of February for Twitch. Um, thank you all very much for surpassing what I needed for the Partner Plus thing. It is much appreciated that Twitch will take less of... Uh oh Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Twitch will take less of all of the stuff in three months' time. If we can keep, if I can keep that up. Uh, but uh, that only happens in three months time. If all that thing. But yeah, thank you very much. And surpassed it comfortably. You guys are awesome. Uh, when I checked this morning, it was 344. There is a massive lag on it. It's really annoying. Uh, but it is very much appreciated, so I just wanted to say thank you. Oops, I've got my uh, drill selected, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the refinery rate, as in the conversion rate between magnesium and the magnesium ingots, or uh, powder, is crazy low. I think platinum's maybe the only one that's worse, but I really... I've never really looked at the conversion rates properly. I will probably look at them properly uh, for the n for the tutorial after next that I'm working on. I recorded yesterday the next proper tutorial for building a mining ship, and I think I, I think the design I've made for this, the mining ship tutorial this time, is heaps better than the one I did on the previous one. Uh, much more stable, much more new player, new pilot friendly. Got to have a massive lag on it, Bezos doesn't want you to work it out. Yeah, probably. You mine bananas. Well, you don't need potassium, so I don't think mining bananas will be helpful. Uh, no, I'm not going to TwitchCon. <laughs> Oh, hello. What are you guys bringing me? Check that in a second. Uh, I might let that land while I grab another load. Uh, honestly, TwitchCon or VidCon aren't super inspiring conventions for me to want to go to. They're not really my kind of thing. Gamescom, on the other hand, 
is something I've always wanted to go to and hopefully one day we'll be able to. I almost did too. Then some sneaky pandemic happened. Had everything booked. Just gonna go. And then nope. And then I decided to <laughs> have a child and that's gonna delay things considerably after as well. <laughs> Yeah, Tommaso, <laughs> I know you know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, a business trip is not a free trip unless the business you're working for is not your own business. If it's your own business, it's still... Like, as an owner-operator of a business, a business trip is not free. I mean, I don't think Twitch pays for anyone to do anything these days. Yes, I have the worst employee, always slacking off playing games on the clock. Oh, it's the dramatic music. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that until I leave. I'm going to leave that here. I'm not- I'm not touching that. that we're gonna have the dramatic music, because mining is often, weirdly, the most dangerous thing I do. Largely because I haven't made any particular efforts to protect my mining situation, but still, most dangerous thing I do. at some point going to put a dancing Kapak emote in there for you guys. I just need some time to put it together, but I do want to put a dancing Kapak so you can dance with the Kapak with the dino when you get your fun music. challenge will be making the um, making the animated emote so that it actually does time with something. I don't know how hard that might be because I don't know what control you have over the frame rate in uh, the animated emotes. I think this is the last load, and then I should probably grab some ice so I've got power. And then I can start building some nice little homely touches onto my base. I have a thought about how to do that as well. So, I was pondering where I would put a little bit of a room, a kitchen, that sort of stuff. Given the way that I've laid out so much industrial stuff on the sort of, for want of a better term, ground floor. And I was thinking, if I make a, if I make the area the live like the living area over the top of the cave, like toward near the cave roof, then it might actually be a decent. Oh no, I'm full. that's pretty much full. I'm not going down there just for the drills. And it might actually be clear enough that it's not going to be annoying for driving the rover, but also. A good option for um, giving me plenty of room to play with and keeping it isolated from the industrial area. The shadow skulls have horns. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends if they're, like, made of bone and... Or if they're, like, cartilage or something. <laughs> With your expansion to the surface... I should really watch where I'm driving while I'm reading chat. Um, with your expansion to the surface, you could make an elevator to the surface and live up here in the sun. Living areas in SE make quite nice ablative armor. Uh, Elemental, I'm not sure which component of build info you need to have on to have the um, inventory thing either. Oh. It's just, it was something that I didn't turn off. As I turned off a lot of the metagamey sort of stuff that's in there. Because uh, I think, I think DJ had a lot of, added a lot to build info in order to give it the... Um, some usefulness with even debugging stuff. He seems to be working on some cool new additions and new mods. Either new additions for it or new mods too, which will be great when those come out. Bonk. That was just for fun. Ouch, chipsticks. That still stings. Now here, arboretums are nice. The plate of armor. Never again, Reavers. Never again. <laughs> Some of you might have noticed that I've basically not played with Reavers since then. <laughs> Just hurt way too much. Thanks, Ike Sky. Thank you for the three months. Ah, uh, Ike Sky. I don't need to make it to the 350. It's just the 300 because of the the rule change. It still shows the 350, but yeah, it. You guys made me get over the 300 mark that I need, and that's awesome. Truly awesome. So yeah, I because I added these refineries last time, I've kind of blocked off any area around here as being living space. But, there's all this space up here, which I could use. So now I just need to decide where I'm going to put a stairwell for it. And I'll think about that as I'm going out to collect a little bit of ice, while skies still appear clear enough. Why is there scrap there? I'm going to guess that it fell through the voxels. And I'm going to pretend that I don't think that there's any other possibility so that I can feel reassured and I can go about my business. Uh, yeah. Head in sand. There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for four months. Aaron's been out for 19 hours now. Ooh. Buddy, that's rough. I hope it comes back soon and I hope you can keep yourself a bit warmer. Thank you, Ghost Outcast. Thank you for the five gift subs. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Ace of Lynn. Thank you for the prime sub. A cert exists because Reavers are that nasty. I Interestingly, a cert exists because I wanted to have a... <laughs> Actually, do you know why a cert exists? A cert exists because... I wanted I wanted a specific style of NP uh oh I wanted a specific style of NPC and when I say style I literally mean the style of the builds I wanted something that felt congruent 
within the worlds that I build in Space Engineers. And uh, back in Survival Unlikely, when I was playing with Capac there, we added a few different NPC mods, and a lot of them lacked the human scale element, or they were giant flying water ships, which just felt really weird to me. And so instead of sticking with other people's stuff, I was like, well, I'm just going to make my own. And that's, that's kind of where that was born out of. I just wanted something that suited the way that I build worlds. Because I didn't want to have another situation where Capac and I were flying, th were jetpacking through a giant oil tanker in the sky. Whoops. Thanks, Die Thousand Hertz. Thank you for the Prime Sub. Thank you, Orsa. <laughs> Thank you so much for the tier three, but just shy of three years. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, that that's that's what Assert was born out of. Like initially, I wanted a tough challenge that played the way I wanted to play it, but really the turning point was when I wanted something that was human scaled. Uh, that yeah, that ship exploded when it was on the ground while we were salvaging it. Yeah. But yeah, and <laughs> the the comments in chat talking about various of the various difficult um, NPC mods starting to feel tedious after a while. That's also why I went quite gentle with the ACS update. I realized, and I'm so glad that I did. It just it. I became aware that I needed to make sure that you could play the way you wanted on whichever day you chose that was the way you wanted to play. I figured I needed to go out there and take out that jerk before and like quickly so that I can get back out there before you guys can send another one after me. Because <laughs> I, I actually remember there was something else I needed to do and I think I needed to get so maybe need to get some gold today? I can't remember if I had enough for all of the yield modules. Yeah, the giant flying oil tanker thing just felt so out of place. It... <sighs> It took me out of the moment, and that made me go, yeah, oh, actually, no, I don't need gold. Good. Let's just get some ice then. It took me out of the moment and made me go, eh. Capac liked it because of its ridiculousness, which to me always says, yeah, we need something different. <laughs> if he likes it because it's so out of place... Then I dislike it because it's so out of place. <laughs> there are I, there are some people who submitted designs to like for the for ACS that do have some ship like elements, but they were very cleverly incorporated into a design that clearly looks like a spaceship. But when it literally looks like someone took an oil tanker and strapped thrusters to it, uh, it's not my thing. I know some people like it, and that's perfectly fine. It's just not for me. I have I have not really considered adding another faction to ACS. Um, largely because I wanted, because I always think that fleshing out the assert 
faction does more than adding another faction for it to fight against. What I'm hoping to do soon is um, get the next 40 odd atmospheric cargo ships added to it. Because I recently added about almost 50 space cargo ships, so I'd like to get the Atmo ones done as added next. As if... The, what the... Oh, I can hear my big guns from here! Oh, that made me panic so much. I mean, you say that wasn't chat, LC, but... <laughs> I'm not sure that chat didn't spawn that base that spawned that. Think it's down? Yep. Good. <laughs> it wasn't directly you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are a number of factions that will attack Assert and Assert will fight back against. Uh, Incon, Parallax, those are all, those are both, and um, the other one, Imba. They'll all attack ACS ships and the ACS ships will then spawn drones to fight back. And the outcome of those contests is not set in stone. Sometimes they assert wins, sometimes the others do. There's part of me that wishes I had enough time and patience. Probably mostly the patience, I think. <laughs> to do something like uh, Captain Arthur did with Ares at War and have factions set up in various places and try and set up a full-on scenario like that. I think if I if I'd never started making videos, that's probably something I would have spent time on. Hey Shadow! I often wonder how time flies so fast Then I remember I've been having great fun pestering Splitsy for 26 months. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. Pestering and having fun. Is there a single ACS drone takedown in Open Tide Mark II? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. The Open Tide has a lot of guns that I don't think target small grid. Particularly well. And the drones are pretty nimble. Uh, yes. MFU, uh, with the zones set up thing, you can set up a scenario where mods will only spawn in specific areas so you can have faction controlled planets. It's quite cool. But also very scenario specific, so it's not a. not a practical thing to set up for a more open. And I use this term generously, generic mod like ACS. Uh, Ghost, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about making an NPC faction of stuff like the Cockroach. The Cockroach uh, does exist in Reavers though. There's a reverized cockroach that 
Uh, once it appeared in um, in Survival Unlikely, became something that could appear for everybody, I think. I think up until then, Lucas had it so it would only appear for me. Specifically, my player name. Inbound jerk. Hold up. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hmm. We might have a problem. One second. I may have messed up the setting of the added thing. Yeah. Ah, I did. Dang it, we're going to have to do a restart. <laughs> Hope. Stop the server. Well, I, th I figured for this particular thing, it's uh, it's got to be. I need to fix this live. Yeah, can I do it? Whoa. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, that's not good. I hate when this happens. Uh, and I can't remember what does it. I don't think it's the controller. Weirdly. Because when I do anything to the controller, nothing happens. Uh, I can't remember what it is. I also can't remember if it fixes when I restart Space Engineers. <laughs> Just press space and see how long you get. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Um. Oh. Ah, oh, it is tab. Thank you. It's tab. Aha. Ha ha ha. Nice one, Bithacker. Thank you very much. No, my belly is not hanging on the keyboard also. <laughs> I've I've been very good lately. And, uh, thanks to going and walking much distance with Toby in a backpack, uh, no belly, no more. And, uh, what? What? Hope this is going to work. And then close that. Hopefully this is long enough and the updated version of the mod will load for the server. There we go. At least it's lo loaded up locally. <laughs> ah, core. What we're going through is not what I would call a heat wave. It's just summer. <laughs> um, yesterday was forty degrees. Today's meant to hit a top of twenty-eight, but.
but it's cloudy all day, so it's going to be super humid. So, that's going to be fun. <clears throat> Thank you, Orsa. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Hurry up and load up, server. Come on. Come on. Stop making me look bad. I was saying something about balancing MES spawns before the glitch. I was. It's a pity... I'm, there may be a way to do this, but I don't believe there is. It's a pity we can't choose ratios between mods of spawn rates. Uh, so it'd be nice if there was a config setting where you could have, I want this mod to have this priority and then this mod and then this mod and give them ratios. Because uh, that would be pretty cool. Because then we could have a situation where you go, all right, I want 95% uh, ACS and then 5% and then 4% Orcs and then 1% Reavers. So the chance of getting a Reaver is really low, but it can happen. But most of the time you'll just see a cert around. Because I think for... For assertive acquisitions, I'd really like it that way. So I could go, I want it to be 80% assert. 8% Imba, 8% Parallax, and then a little bit of Incon. And that's it. But mostly assert, because that was kind of the whole idea of the series. Um, but I'm not aware of a way to do that. I should probably ask TFE, because he might know one. He does spend a lot of time has spent a lot of time poking around the MES configs. Alrighty, so I need to do a quick thing. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh wait. Admin early spawn, it won't show up. Um... Get that out of the way. And since you guys asked for it. Oops. There we go. Inbound. So I want you to take pride in the fact that ACS's existence is now my sole reason to get a better PC to play with it. <laughs> uh, I am really interested to see how my defense is going to go here. I think I'm just going to watch. <laughs> wow, majestic. <laughs> so what is the collective noun of a jerk? A football team? I I think... I think we could call... Maybe we could call the collective of a jerk a courtroom? Or... Wait, no! Um... Ah... Uh, trying to think of uh, a term that's... Wait, do they? Sh Wait a second. <laughs> um, hang on. Are they actually coming for me, or are they going for the? Are they going for the chat drop? A boardroom. Yes, it's a boardroom. <laughs> Perfect. It's a boardroom of jerks. I was thinking like um, a senate of jerks. That's what I was kind of coming up with. I was trying to think of... For some reason, senate wasn't coming to mind and all of the House of Representatives type descriptors were coming to mind. Oh, Jackson. <laughs> no, 
No, it is not a circle. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with a boardroom. A politic of jerks, yeah. Uh, they're still moving, maybe? Not? Did they spawn too far away? I need to get rid of the mine entrance because I can't read it. Am I too far away? I might be too far away. They do seem to be somewhat shy. You know what? I'm gonna go shoot him. Do 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 do. Yep, time to go poke him with a fightless. Yeah, my guess is they haven't gotten a... They haven't managed to pick up a target. But their targeting should reach that far, I think. I don't have to look at the actual behaviour, but I thought it... I thought I set it at six or eight kilometres. Before I put myself in a swarm of targeting missiles, I'm going to come to a stop and see if they target me and then I'm going to get, go back where I've got turrets. Could have sworn they were moving at first. Well, turns out I'm terrible at editing my own mod. Oh! They go Oh, they were going after the chat! <laughs> oh okay. Um Well that that um dramatic music is no more. Wow. And now you can see how much they might be able to burrow down to my base. Wow. Uh... That was an unexpected outcome. Let's turn my turrets back on before I forget and get into a fight without them on. That was something. And I guess you guys know what you're targeting now in the polls. Okay, so, let's build a bit of a... Let's do a bit of a... Some home design. That's what I'd like to do now. Uh, Wandering Entity, I very much like the flat Atmos. They add a lot of design options, while not being overbalanced or overpowered in any way. Uh, Keen did a pretty good job with balancing their utility against the existing thrusters so that you still want to use both types. And that's... Yeah. Credit credit to whoever in Keen decided to design them this way because they, they genuinely fill their own niche without getting rid of another one. In my opinion. Some might disagree, but that's what I reckon. Alright, so if I want to build up, I've either got to build myself some sort of lift to bring myself to the up, 
But I've also probably got to get some stairs. Just looking around, thinking where I would want to put stairs so that I can get up above the height of the top of these refineries. Yeah, silly string, that's true. You could uh, balance the likelihood of a particular mod. Make <laughs> I could make it several unpublished versions of ACS and <laughs> put them all, all added to the game at once so that ACS is balanced more heavily against the others, yeah? I don't really want to mess with the stairs here because I quite like the arrangement that I've built. I like that it feels quite industrial here. I think maybe walk down the hallway here and I'll put a set of stairs separate to the refineries. Maybe in front of the cargo containers would work. Yeah, I think that's what I'll go with. No, I'll put it over the side. Uh, just one sec. I'm just going to go get Charlie. Because she's complaining at the gate, which means she wants to get to Toby and she's not allowed to. I'll be back in just a moment. Actually, I take that all back. Charlie can stay where she is because she is about to go on a walk. And that's why she's getting all antsy. Uh, one more. No. Let's put a landing in here. Um, I haven't really used them much. Let's grab. Boom. Really hope that was a drone. Got these scaffolds. Whoa, what the No, that's not the drone. The drone's still there. What was exploding? There was so much going on there that space engineers forgot to show the explosion animation. <laughs> Okie dokie. Back to what I was doing. It's like, do I have creative mode on? I'm like, no, I don't. Because that places and looks very much like it's complete. Uh, the usual trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
uh, Serenity, I've I've never really felt the need to have <coughs> the stair strut mod uh, since Keen gave us vanilla ways to do something that looks pretty good. I've I've always been fairly um, fairly heavily on the let's just use a vanilla solution if there if the vanilla solution exists rather than adding a mod that may well do it more nicely but if the vanilla solution exists I use the vanilla solution hmm. actually speaking of I don't want that I want to do this agonize that's hopefully gonna be okay I want to do this because I want these to be all nice in a line. Like that. And then I'm going to put... Oh, wait, no. These are wrong. Hang on. I'll describe my thoughts in a second. <laughs> I want these ones along here. And because of the way that the the kind of footplate works, I didn't want to use this rotated that way because then you get that line. I wanted it all in line, and then for this end piece, instead, I'm going to put the railing on the end, like that. So that's how I wanted that. Now the next bit is the entryway to the living quarters. You're wondering. <laughs> I've I I know some people are of the opinion that you can never have too many mods. I try to limit how many I use. Possibly beyond the level that I really need to. But I think over the years having a few too many uh, situations where my game's broken and <laughs> wow that got welded before it hit the floor my game's broken and I've had to reload and make a new save and then in the process of making a new save I have to figure out which mods might have broken it and then figuring out which mods I need to remove from a build versus which ones I can leave in the build and then I have to do the whole build again I slowly change to, how about I just make my builds mostly vanilla? Because if I keep them vanilla, I don't have to worry about um, any of that. Because when I need to create a new save for my series, I can just make a new save and all my stuff will paste in, even if it's, even if I add no mods. love how you you just nonchalant keep going about your business while the gunfire blares in the background yeah I really shouldn't because there is a chance that things could go wrong up there but if I don't finish my thought I never like at the time I start it I never finish it and I wanted to finish that thought Is it obvious I found your channel through Shaq? <laughs> that you want to add all the mods. Yeah. It it all it all comes down to if you are planning on playing a save game for a very long time, more mods, more problems. If you're planning on playing a save game for a month or two and then starting something completely fresh, go nuts. There's no harm. Because you're gonna start something fresh anyway. So what difference does it make if you mod it till it breaks or you don't? It doesn't actually matter. Uh, it's just that I have a tendency to run my series for sometimes years. Survival maybe ran for more than a year. I think almost two years. Survival unlikely ran for more than two years and went through multiple different mod sets. And uh, Assertive Acquisitions is getting close to a year and a half old. Actually, no, it's more than a year and a half old. It's getting close to... 
it's heading towards two years. So when you're running for that long, it changes your priorities around what's what you need to do. And it changes changes your thought process on this stuff. Or at least it did for me. Yeah, I think this will look alright. And SI might be restarted after five years. Yes, it might. It might. Now... Do I lay out a basic floor and then try and build rooms? Or do I try and build rooms and then figure out the floor afterwards? I think I'll try and build room. Do it that way. Rooms first. Start with doors. What sort of rooms do I want here? I want like a little conference room. Um, conference room, dining room, slash kitchen. Bedroom, maybe more than one bedroom, even though... It, no, it's underground alone. One bedroom. One bedroom. Office, kitchen, bedroom. Hmm. Gaming room. Toilet. Armory. Closet storeroom. A nice place to cry. <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking of having like two... Two entries here. One will go to a bedroom, one will go to bedroom, but they'll connect up inside. Oh, this is not a good place to be while my jetpack's low. Fuel critical. And <laughs> a shower alone is no excuse for a bad hygiene. Yeah, I'm much happier with stairs that you go, you don't have to double back on. <laughs> Alright. Just going to lay out a flat floor like this for now. So I'm not sure I'll split level this because it makes it much more awkward. Ballroom. You mean like a ball pit? Or do you mean like a dancing spot? Because I could kind of go for the former. Okay, so let's have an office. On this side, that'll be where the original entry is, so... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, right! I put the cult command consoles in this save. I think I meant... Oh, I'm gonna go outside and um, assist with fighting these bots. Or I would if they still exist. Um, they don't exist. Never mind. Yeah, I added con court, uh, Colts Command Console, the updated version to this save. I really need to add that to Assertive Acquisitions. That's a block mod that I'm kind of okay with. Because I got used to it back in the old days. Gives me, gives me nice, nice feels. 
Storage shelves, weapon racks, access panels. <laughs> yes, Jackson, there is an undated, updated, updated version. <laughs> it's like me trying to type wow yesterday or the day before. Or now? I think I wrote, I was trying to write now and I wrote wow, then not, then no, then now. What are my other decorative blocks? I think that's kind of all. Actually, I've got to, I've got to look at these consoles at some point. Oh man, there are some really good options there. Oh, I so want that for the Skywarp. Oh! oh, I can make the new CIC look so much better if I use these rather than just the helms. Oh, it's so tempting. So tempting. So very, very tempting. Uh, anyway. Oh, uh, where is it? I want that one. Okay, so, uh, office. Office needs desk. Office needs desk with screen. So if I put the desk, put a desk over here, and then we go. that. And then I give myself some room so that I can put down console block, some table around it. Actually, I don't think I need the tables around it. I think I'll leave the, the desks away because it's I feel like it makes sense when you put chairs around that table, but when you just put the console block down for something that's this sort of scale, I think that'll be fine. That could work. And then maybe I put some, uh, where have I got it on my hotbar? Somewhere here, surely? Yeah. And I can use like the automaton programmable block stuff for a bit of decorat decorative extra. This is my computer room sort of vibes. I think I'll move this down to here. I might weld up that floor just so we can see what the heck's going on. Uh, you know this all looks nice, but what if the drones do finally dig down to you? Well, I've got a few options then, don't I? I can be like, well, if they destroy my med bay and such, I'm done. Or I can fight back harder. Or I can enjoy the new sunlight <laughs> that's inside my base. I don't know. I, I decided not to think about what I would do in that instance. I, in the early streams, my plan was very much I'd reload. But at this stage, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'd do. Because I think this is the 10th week of that I've streamed Underground Alone. And you never know, there might be some, um... 
Oh. There might be something else I want to do on a Friday one week, and that's fine too, I think. You know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's have a look at these cult consoles. Okay. Oh, hanging ones. Don't think these are the right vibe for here. Um. Console HUD controller. I feel like something's not matching with what's on the right. Anyone else get that feeling? Oh, I suspect this is a console, as in one of these blocks. That's it right in front of me right now. But it just looks like a regular wall block so that you can put them and have projections anywhere. Huh. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, I don't think I want these for this. And I might have to look into this mod properly. See what all the blocks do. But that's not what I want for here. For here, I'm going to go to... We can get some lockers in here, just because they're a good wall de decoration. Yeah, I think they could work well on the Skywalk. Fish tank, you say? Can I make a fish tank? Maybe once I grind down all those things I can, because it needs the gravity component. Oh. Why? I just realized. Because there's no mirrored aquarium, you can't do one there, then... Like, the, the only way you can make them look joined is putting that there, and it kind of does a one and a half. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to use the kitchen. What am I going to do? Inset couch has... Oh, yeah. Let's use this side of the lock. What is the other side of the... Oh, yeah, that'll work nice. Because that'll put the... The nice little terrarium on the other side. Which will be into my living space. Yeah. We can have a door connecting the two spaces. go with oh let's do I put more LCDs inset along the wall here I know what I'll do I'll put in an interior wall piece in between then I'll go back to some more LCDs here incoming jerk is that actually going to hit I'm not going to get out there before that Gets destroyed, maybe? 
fidget inbound as well. Wait, did you guys spawn that jerk or did that just come from one of the bases? Hmm. Hmm. Knock knock spawns a jerk, yes. So it was you guys. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, um, let's weld this up and see how it looks. Need to make sure I've got decent lighting for this too. Boom, boom, boom. I love that my main goal for today prior to the stream was I'm going to make it so you guys can do more damage. My main goal once I get into the stream is I want to build a pretty house. Something about those two things doesn't seem to make sense. Low. Thanks, Mr. Shinigami. Thank you for the prime sub. I don't think my defense has swatted the damage boosters. I think um, <laughs> the damage boosters swatted your own spawn. <laughs> and that's where this thing all went sideways. Well, I figure if I make a pretty house, you guys are going to be more excited if it manages to be broken through too. But also, I just like having things that are nice interior design. Ooh. Speaking of that, did I add my LCD mod? Uh... Oh, I don't know that I did. I mean, that could work. Quite right. There's not much I can do about that. Eh, good enough. Critical. Probably should have ditched all the other stuff I was carrying when I did. Oh, Raiders inbound. I wonder if they're gonna actually. Oh, uh, no, just the one. I'm going out. Oh, <laughs> boom! Oh, I got out. Ow! Run away, run away, run away! Oh, I got one of them before I was downed. <clears throat> Need some lights down there. Pod did escape. All oh, right, I'm gonna get shot while I'm getting my body. Get me my stuff. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm wasting so much ammo shooting these guys with my turrets. There we go. Turrets, you can stop now. You can stop now. Seriously, you can stop now! <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no, the, the turrets targeting people is the better option. The issue is there's a, there's a bug where the turrets keep shooting after their target is dead. And that's what's costing me a lot of ammunition. Okay, yeah, it's dark down here. I'm putting lights in before I go any further. here if it lets me. And of course it doesn't. Um, reduce the fall off. Reduce the intensity. Tip six, didn't you already make a Reggie turret model for me for wrong way for the wrong way up finale? Didn't I already use that there? I think. That was target dummies. Oh, you're right, it was too. That's terrible of me to forget. that looking lighting wise yeah it's a bit more interesting these aren't just super super flat <laughs> yes and a dead display name shack yes that did happen that made invincible capac Uh-oh. Okay. I think this round is coming at me. Ow. Let's watch. If I don't stay up here, you guys know that it will end up... These will... I'll get distracted and we'll miss the entire event. Invincible Capac was not intentional, no. <laughs> no. That was an unfortunate bug that created much hilarity. Alright, let's see what happens. This could get really ugly. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh boy. Oh. Oh ho ho. That was way too close. Okay. Yep. Successfully tested that my defenses, at least from that direction, can handle them. If that's the only thing that comes in at that time. Fuel low. All right, my fuel. Uh. Fuel critical. <clears throat> the mix of different turrets sounds so much better than just all gats. Yeah, it does. Yeah, elemental, it would be. Um, it would be really cool if Keen added a few extra food items that added, like, just a touch of health, or just a touch of energy. Doesn't mean, need too much. Chipsticks. On the topic of that, can I share the thing that you did? Uh, that you were talking about? That, Or would you rather keep that private? Yes, I can? Okay. Uh, Chipsticks actually came up with some... Uh, that, no, no. Let me rephrase that. Chipsticks came up with something really cool. That actually, it was like, this is super exciting, but I don't think he realized how exciting it was when he came up with it. Um, Chipsticks has managed to make it so that consumable items can trigger an animation for the character. So, <laughs> that means that in theory, you can have a character perform a drinking animation when they drink a clan cola. It's one of those things that I'm like, surely, surely that's just kind of vanilla game plus enough that maybe Keen would consider using it? Because that, that's like how these things should work. But yeah, very cool idea, Chip Six. Very cool. Uh, back to what I was doing. Oh, I seriously, my timing. <laughs> that was terrible. Back to what I was doing as the enemy is about to arrive. Yeah, Mega Civ. SE is now on Game Pass as of today. I think. Or yesterday. Uh, script. Hello, bird. Hmm. may actually I'm going to leave those blank for now because I would like to at some point put an actual power script on them uh, I'm going to grind this row out We put a ceiling of LCDs that display a sky image. Oh man. It's been a long while since I've thought about doing stuff that way. My uh, survival maybe composite image things to make it look like I was outside more than I was. Uh, 
that I then reused in Survival Unlikely. I was pretty proud of those when I made them, to be fair. It was a concept I hadn't seen anyone else use, and I was like, yeah, why haven't they? Uh, no. LCDs cannot display what a turret sees or what a camera sees. And this was annoying me. So I wanted the plate. my window had thought about using the uh, bridge windows but I actually don't think they're the right look here so there are plugins that let you put cameras to LCDs in the very distant past there have been mods that did it the performance impact of having to render multiple scenes of space engineers at once uh, is the reason why I've never bothered using them. Yeah, Joey, that was exactly where I was coming from. Because bridge windows don't really let you look down, I didn't want to use them here. This bit. Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot that's how that was attaching. Whoopsie! do that. Oh, poop. I have to empty my inventory. Yeah, I still haven't used the curved windows all that much. I feel like certain base designs they work really well for and other ones... It's just not quite what I'm after. I also I also find that for me, curved windows and curved blocks of any type really constrain me in terms of design. I feel really restricted when I build with them. Uh, which can sometimes be nice, but often frustrating. Now, what to do about these sections next to it? Because I feel like this is where I need something different.
And I may need to get rid of those bits that I've placed down there and do something different with that as well. Uh, if I'm going to do a glass floor, I probably won't do it in the office space. I think I might do it in the living space if I wanted to do, if I was going to do that. Uh, but what I was tempted to do here, we'll see how this might look if I put the uh, brain, that, on that row. I'll try it. I think this might feel okay. And a little bit different. I think I need something different as the pieces underneath the window, uh, which we can do if I s place down these bits and we then look at what I'm going to change about it. Oops. that I placed down randomly. Oh, there. Okay, so do I stick with... No, I think I go with these. Well, am I going to move the welders? Yeah, the welders were temporary. <clears throat> the welders will move and I'll put a proper repair bay in somewhere, was my intention. Ow! Hinge to the face. So that hinge can go. Does that look better? Does this work yet? This works yet. Hmm. It's going somewhere, I'm just not sure yet. Don't think this works from the inside though. So I'm going to try something different there and grab these. See if the added detail works a bit better. It's giving some heavy SGC vibes. Yeah, Chuck. Yeah, I'd agree with that.
definitely see where you're coming from there. Just had hanging doors in front as a blast shield, yep. You can almost see Walter sitting there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That get some shots off. Any more turrets badly damaged? No, everything looks okay. It all looks all right. Yeah, I think I think having the extra tone of grey up there is nice. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to add some yellow in without it making for weird flooring colour. Because <laughs> the all white is definitely harming this. And I feel like if I've got these sections in white, having these ones in yellow will be strange. So I'm just trying to think about how I'm going to add some colour. I could do this. Yeah, that thresh didn't send through a box of tissues, so we didn't know who they were. Oh yeah, this vertical bit behind it could be yellow as well. Yellow window frames. Ooh, I don't think that's going to work because I'd have to do... I'd feel like I have to do that. And actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, I don't hate that. That's all right. Hmm. Oh, behind the girders, I could probably put the inset interior lights, I guess, for some lighting around here, but. I'll decide that once I've got it finished, rather than putting lighting in now and not really knowing where it should be. Oh, alright, let's go see what this is. Uh, let's go empty my inventory before I do that. Well, that twist is close. I think I might need to clear up, like, do some trash cleanup uh, stuff of grids. Because <clears throat> I know last week you guys tried to spawn a lot of um, lasting badness. And I think a lot of them couldn't spawn because there was nowhere to spawn. Oh. Really hoping for some platinum. But at least it didn't explode in my face. Oh, I just thought of something I can do to really mess with myself. I don't need to have the warhead explode to have an explosion when those things come down. Oh boy. I'm going to have to add that. I'm going to have to write that down because I'm going to forget this idea. And I'll share it. Uh, my idea is... Make it so that there's a behavior with a chance, and the chance is small, of the remote control exploding when I grind it down. Uh, underground alone, there we go. Give remotes a chance of exploding. Just gotta keep the chance low enough that I forget that it's a thing that I did. I think we all know that is certainly a thing I can normally passively forget, but sometimes actively forget. Uh. 
Ow! Health critical. I should probably turn those off. So I should probably just grind those down. They're uh, now completely useless. Oh, come on. There we go. I guess the re main reason I haven't built any, like... Oh, actually... I was about to say I... I haven't built an observation outpost on my base because I didn't want to... Um tunnel through the base. But I don't need to tunnel through. I just need this. And I now have an observation post. Now I don't have to fly outside. And we can have a look. Yeah, Shadow was meant to go on the yellow bit. I just misclicked. <laughs> Settle this view. I'm low in. Can wait. Would waste it be McKay or Zelenka? Um. I think dependent on mood. Hmm. I think wasted it'd be Todd. And I think he'd actually like that comparison too. Hey, Space Zero. Hey, Treadles. Yeah, I think he'd be Todd. Alright, let's see if I can get into the... Nope. Oh wait, I need a seat. I need to put this on the helm. Um... I was a bit slow to the uptake of setting this up, but now that it's set up, I know I just have to run over to this helm, click one, and I can view. Yeah. I should probably put something like that up in my control area up here to put a helm in. So I can view as well. Uh, maybe I'll put it in front of one of these windows, these um, LCDs. That's not a good look. Why don't I control a turret? Because I'd rather the turrets hit things. <laughs> and if I'm in control, they're not going to hit anything. <laughs> Shagas, the Dr. Bill. <laughs> Dr. Lee. Um... Oh, I'm going to have to think about Shaq. You're going to have to give me a minute. I need to think about that one. Are we talking Atlantis or SG-1? Uh, um... I was thinking this might be a spot for some airtight hangar doors, not for any particular purpose, entirely for style. 
Because the gate's too big. Because I'm going to have to change what type of block is here. Oh, no. I can put them down that low. Yeah. That'll work. Fuel low. The name's escaping me, but Capac could be that guy that got tortured by Dr. Weir. Oh man, I missed Tincho's stand up an hour ago. Kavanaugh, yeah, Capac could be Kavanaugh. You just know he would get on her nerve. Her nerves. Yeah. You think Kapak would be Sergeant Sila because he always gets burnt and injured? Yeah, there's some validity there. Anyway. Uh, I need to stand up my desk. I forgot. Or I missed. I missed it. It's really hard during these streams to notice the things because it gets lost in amongst all of the other activities that are under the same... that get the same little um, icons in Twitch. <laughs> oh yeah, don't stand on my desk. I think I... did I say stand on? I definitely meant stand up, but maybe stand on. It's okay, Shadow. I got you to watch uh I got you to watch Future Armor, so that's the important one. Next up we can get you to watch Stargate. And you can you can enjoy the surprisingly good uh character arc that Dr. McKay goes through. Whoa! Yeah, let's just forget about SGU. We don't worry about SGU. We don't talk about SGU. <laughs> yeah, exactly. SG who? Yeah, Zelenka was also a very good character. <laughs> Apparently, um, also said some very cheeky things in Czech during, like... Because cause he is Czech and can speak, speak it, the stuff that he says in it is actually quite funny and often uh, super spoilery. And fourth wall breaking, apparently. Oh no! This is why I need a turret to control out there.
I'm not, I'm I'm all right with this little section of my base. Just gonna go deal with this. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with this in a different way. Music, the real villain of these streams. Hunter, a hundred percent. All right, I'll do. Do 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 do. Is not even remotely aligned to it. All right, twist, you know what to do. I need a catapult to fling it. Yeah. Bye. I honestly thought that was going to get closer to the twist. Oh well. I suppose I could destroy it while I'm out here. I love Kevin McLeod for the music that he shared for people to be able to use, but I hate him for that song. <laughs> Whoa, double drone, yeah! Ooh, 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 one of those rockets was really close. Die drone already? Come on. Need to have some ammo left for the base. There we go. Oh, come on. Target it before this drone gets here, the agonize. I might have just destroyed it. Cool. No, I haven't. It's just reloading. I think it's dead now. Yes, it is dead. Good, good, good. There we go. Two birds, one stone. Trip. Journey. Two birds, one gnome. Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to finish up this, my office space. And then... I think what I'll do is... Um, then I'll move on to the grinder pit. And then after that, go back and build my bedroom. <coughs> I think that's the way to go. What did I need gold for, Elemental? I feel there was something, but I... I've got all the yield modules, so I can't think of anything else that uses gold that I was thinking of last week. Uh, gravity components is silver. Yeah. Custom railgun turret. Yeah, for all that uranium I don't have. Okay, cool. Uh... I'm unsure how I feel about this bit of yellow wall, but I'll leave it for now. A turret that shoots railguns. Yes. According to transcript, you didn't say what for, just that you needed to mine it at some point. Great. Apparently I didn't even know what last week. Great. That's just perfect. I feel like I may have uh, built a little too close to the wall here. Gonna have a little bit of stone showing through. Something I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about today. I need to put some more thought into what I'm going to do for my 10 years of having played Space Engineers stream. <laughs> yes. It's only too close until the Skylight Contractors show up. Yes. I want to do something a little bit like my stream anniversary thing where I had people join in and build a little com build a bit of a community build. Just got to think of what that's going to look like. I don't want to do never surrender again. Um in fact, I don't want to do anything that's combat focused. And that's where it becomes really tricky. Ah, oh, zero nut. Build a fairground. Ouch. Ouch. You guys know how to hurt me. Thanks, my selfie. Thanks for the prime sub. What happened to the fairground was that it ended up taking me so long to build it that I never got it finished because it was meant to be for a celebration of getting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> the channel that I was aiming for that was my main channel, um, which is maybe at 160,000 now. So, you know, just a tad late if I were to do it now. Just a touch.
How about a community build to build a community? All the different buildings needed. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, looking at the stuff we did with the stream anniversary stream where I I got everyone together and we did never surrender. The most fun part was before the combat. The combat was been eh, but the stuff before that was really fun. Oh, great. <sighs> Thanks, Robert. I'm already standing, so I guess I'm continuing to stand. I still got a deadline this time. <laughs> so I know when I can sit down. <laughs> get, get the community together to help me build new Be Right Back screens, yeah. In fact, that, that could be some... Depending on what I decide to do, like am I going to go for a full-on super long stream. If I do, then that could be part of the stream. I could actually make new Be Right Back screens. Uh, but <clears throat> I was actually thinking of doing part of this potentially over on my YouTube channel. There's a live stream there, not just on Twitch. No! No! It was too slow. I think. Nope, still there. Oh, no, now it's not. Uh, did not grab the commands. Tufty, anything I would do would limit the number of people who can participate at once because that's just Space Engineers multiplayer. <laughs> you just... <laughs> you, can't, you can't have as many people as would want to play at once. Just doesn't work. Yeah, I don't want to do anything competitive either. Like, I don't want to do... I want to try and avoid competition or... Um, combat, if I can. I, also, to point out, this is not something that's happening particularly soon. Uh, this will be a little ways off. A couple of months off. I just, it's the sort of thing that I think, the longer ahead I think about it, uh, the more chances there are that I'll come up with something good. Right, 
think I'm just going to have to live with that bit of voxel being there. And... Hmm... Trying to think of a way to do some dropped lights in here. What do I do with that? Is there any block that we've got? Oh, actually, yeah. This. I'm just going to try this. I don't think this is going to work here, but I'm curious. Need some construction components. Hey, liking. Do to do. Hmm. It's a pity the corner lights don't go right to the edge of the block, because that makes this look weird. I do it this way. <laughs> Don't hate it. I guess I probably should just use the um neons. Unbuilt. Fuel low. Is there really the best for this? Just trying to think Fuel if there was another critical. option. All right. If I shove this in that, get rid of that, that, and that. Yeah, it really is the best option we've got. And it's a pretty good one. I was just seeing if I could come up with something a bit different. Well, apparently Build Vision doesn't want to get the other light. There we go. Hello, Charlie. Welcome in. A showcase of my own builds. Uh, I do struggle to make things that are that self-indulgent be <laughs> entertaining, I think. with this. Not self-indulgent, expect you to be critical of past you. That is a fair assumption. Why did I do that? That looks terrible. Yes, having actual light around here is always good. Yeah. 
And I did intentionally use the old ones here. I didn't want to use the newer ones. So I wanted the texture. I'm happy with this. Alright, let's go make a grinder pit. Thanks, Corbin. Thanks for four months. End to you too. <laughs> okay, Capo, that's enough. Oops. Oh well. Wasn't intending to grind that down completely. Was gonna hack it, but oh well. Oh, I should have saved it to be the first thing to throw in the grinder pit. Oh. Welder is still going. Yep. It's a different one, but there's a welder still going. Uh, what was I going to do? Just thinking. Jeez. Those birds are loud. Boom. Just looking at the terrain and trying to think where could be a good little bit that I can throw bits, throw stuff down to be ground down. I still permanently will. There we go. I'm leaning toward building the the conveyoring over to here because this looks like a decent natural slope to work from. Or I could just go easier and go just to here. Maybe I'll go the shorter bit. <laughs> Let's not go too far. And spend three hours building the conveyor and never actually get to build the grinder. Ooh, hold up. Yeah. Train's going down. I don't need to go on that row. I'm going to go this one. Far enough. Probably a little bit further. Now, I should probably put down at least a projector and build the bottom part of one of these turrets. One of these little towers. Um, but I'm going to have to modify it so that I've got a corner on it. Although I can do that after I build it. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> no, elemental grav gens cannot do anything to weaken local uh, planetary gravity that is over point 
five. I'm trying to remember what the um what the equation is for the the grav gens and how much they can like how much gravity they can generate. It's something like uh, the grav gen setting minus planetary gravity times two. I think that's what it is. And because their max output is one, as soon as planetary gravity gets to 0.5, it's completely nullified. So yeah, yeah, it's artificial gravity equals setting minus planetary gravity times two. works. I did maths. <gasps> the world's gonna end. Uh-oh. Jerk round three. <laughs> Funny I should say that the world's gonna end as a bunch of missiles comes in. Yep. projector It was like brick or cube or something. Here we go. One down. Two down, three down. All down. They've really got to stop coming from that direction. I guess I might need to up the power of those missiles for next time. <laughs> I figured going straight from 1 to 5 was potentially a risky ploy, uh, but it's actually worked out okay. Surprisingly. All oh, right. Um, thanks, Red Bearded. Thanks, Red Bearded Engineer. Thank you for 16 months. <laughs> thanks for keeping space engineers interesting. You're welcome. Uh, what? Oh, there, there. Do recharge on. Yeah, go from a boardroom to a congress of jerks. Yep. A senate. 
a Senate. Because I think most... Most places I know of, or that I have even vague understandings of their political systems, have a Senate. I still do like a boardroom, though. I feel like that applies more broadly. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. There we go. That's my little turn. I can step up the difficulty. Huh. I can decrease the duration of um, the time, decrease the delay between drones spawning from the bases. And right, hopefully that's enough charge. Yeah, that'll be fine. Seven minutes of power is fine. Hmm. I will acknowledge this welder ship has been useful. You're able to have them spawn in multiple spots in the same time so the turrets can't focus on one direction? Um... Probably. I did it this way because this was the easiest way. <laughs> and I knew I could get it done. Uh, but probably. I can have them more scattered. Uh, no, JRL. The the way I build my base has no impact on where things spawn. Uh, the mountain behind me probably does. But my base position doesn't. Because the mountain behind me likely makes it difficult for things to spawn in enough atmosphere if they spawned to my left. broken somewhere. Where? Oh, right there. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. And... Yeah, I might just go... More, then we'll go... Curve. No, we do not need a constant stream of jerks. No. <laughs> that we do not need. Uh... If <laughs> we only need that when I've decided I'm done with this build and I want to do something new. 
And I just want to end in a fireball of glory and horror. I think I need what I think could be an interesting thing to add as a combatant if I can figure out how without it taking like days to put together would be a large grid thing that can spawn in a constant stream of jerks that but the large grid thing is flying so I have to go up there and I have to take it out if I want to stop the missiles from coming in That could be an option. I think this is probably too far down. Let's not go all this way down. Also, I'm going to do a thing because clearly the extra spawns are not happening right now. Let's go entity list. Don't worry about the raider pods. Twist. That one's dead. Remove. That one's dead. Remove. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's dead. That's dead. So I think these are blocking new ones from happening. Need to go for the static grids. Oh. Really hope I don't delete part of my base when I do this. Too many uh, unnamed grids around my base. Hello. Oh wait, owner name. I can just go by owner name. No, I can't. It's apparently, I don't own that grid, but it's still mine. Well, I tried. <laughs> Not sure why it didn't find a spot to spawn, but I tried. <clears throat> and grinder. Now, I'm thinking. Oh right, grinders can't be in voxel. Uh, hook. Gonna make this more difficult. I have to pick a row. Need more of that. I'm gonna have to pick a row that's gonna have enough room for me to place them all down. A neat line. Where there's no voxel involved. Am 
Why am I not? There. <clears throat> Uh, do I want to do it that way? I don't want to do it that way. Now I got up. Oh. Five wide enough anyway. Yeah. Five would be enough. Then, what else do I want to do? Maybe I put some this way. I was thinking, this might work or it might be a terrible idea. I'm not sure. It might keep them too, like if I put curved blocks here, it might keep them too far away from these, from the grinders. I think maybe let's do a second row and then we'll do that. Just thinking it might bounce the components a little bit less. Can I weaponize the small chunks? Yeah. Throwing them down the hill into the grinders sort of worked in survival, maybe. It wasn't safe. <laughs> but it, it worked well enough. Ish. Yeah, I was thinking about the rolling grids destroying the windows, and I'm like, should I put welders in? And then I'm like, no, the welders will then just weld up the things that I'm grinding down. <laughs> Although I could cycle between the two. The other option would be to, like, intersperse this with drills, so that they hit the drills instead. Not sure why I built this all the way off the wall when <clears throat> now that I've placed this here I really should just build this as a pit up top because I can't actually use the voxel wall because I haven't um, carved it out as neatly as I did in survival maybe so there's not really any point in having this down off the side Because I'm going to have to add armor in here. So that it rolls on the armor instead. So at that point, shouldn't I just build the pit closer by? Because that'll be quicker. Hmm. Well, I've already started this. What the heck? Let's just keep going. a bit of fun.
Fuel low. Oh. That was close. <laughs> Fuel critical. Uh, Violent, I have seen your post. I tried something in my game. It did not work. Stuff still bounced around just as much. So I'm suspicious you might have tool shake off. See you, Gate. Um, the purpose of this grinder pit is junk disposal. It's not really needed for getting components. Maybe I'll get a bit of silver out of it, but other than that, I'm not too worried. Nice to have some extra parts, but not necessary. Hey, Chozo. Am I out of parts? Or is, did that build? I don't know. And you guys got the double. As a bot comes in too. Raider pod. No. Please get destroyed. Oh! -ho -ho. <laughs> the assault cannon sniped out the battery. this free ice. Minimal effort to get a few thousand. Magnesium stores? Let's check. And we got 677. That's pretty good. the jerks a bit more uh, nimble. Like, fly a bit faster. Maybe that's the way to go. Thanks, UK Reaper. Thank you so much for the tier 2 for 4 months. Thank you very much. I mean, the... So the, the missiles are... Pretty Pretty, uh, pretty flimsily set up. They don't have much ability to withstand fire. Because I really, I genuinely didn't know how deadly they were going to be. And I was worried I was going to make them too deadly to start off with and then we wouldn't really end up having much fun with them. Uh, but it looks like I might have made them a little too soft. I need to need to turn them from paper into cardboard. Or wet tissue paper <laughs> into cardboard. Why do I play with tool shake on? It's the default setting. Um and 
I think it feels nice when you're drilling stuff. It feels weird to have no feedback when you use tools on ships and they don't do anything. Because I'm just so used to it being there. I do wonder if there's a way to turn tool shake off for large grid and just for large grid. Because like on a static grid, it doesn't make much, much sense to have tool shake. I don't think that's, like, I'm not talking about making this a vanilla change, I'm talking about, it, I wonder if there's a mod that we can do that with. Turn them into that thick packaging cardboard with the nasty staples in it. Oh, that stuff's so hard to break down. Uh, no, Lohin, tool shake is a physical tool shake. The tools move around. Like, you know when you drill with a drill ship and the ship kind of moves a bit? That's tool shake. But yeah, I wonder if I wonder if you could turn it off just for large grid. It'd certainly give making a large grid miner a subtle advantage. <clears throat> Or maybe even just have tool shake off for static grids. The main reason, I guess, of having tool shake off is that it does make a grinder pit a functional thing. Because the way that grinders fling blocks around uh, does create a lot of problems. And does make grinders pretty near to useless. Oh wait, I don't think I've got glass in my welder ship, so I'll weld this up by hand as well. I can't be bothered setting it up to carry glass. Visual Studio broke the... broke malware's dev kit. Oh, that sucks. What are we building? Um, the most... what's often the most pointless thing that I ever build? A grinder pit. You can, yes, you can disable tool shake in world settings, so it disables it for everything, all tools, all the time. What I was thinking about is something a bit more nuanced. And just disable it for static grids. Thresh got quite close. Yeah, Andy, I'm, I've had never come across anyone 
modding tool shake. So I'm not surprised that there's nothing on it. I figure since there's a world setting for it, people probably don't want to put the effort into modding it. It's like either you want it or you don't. <laughs> the effort to make the nuance change is probably not worth it for most people. Makes sense to me. So now I need something that can go around and pick up all of the pods that are around here. We squint real hard. The welder boat looks like an air, air boat. Yep. Intentional. Toolshake doesn't bother me until I'm making a grinder pit and it flings blocks around at high velocity. Then it's like, uh, why did I bother building a grinder pit? I should just I should just be grinding this by hand. It's quicker. It's more reliable. Little carrier craft I need. Um, guess it should have a connector out here. Yeah. T junction rotate that way. Yeah, solution. Behold my fields of connector, uh, collectors. And my one dude driving himself insane with inventory full. 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 Okay. So this thing doesn't need to be particularly complicated. Just needs to be able to pick that up, move it. Oh. Well, I know what's being tested on the grinder pit. Alright, I've got to build this quickly. Speed build. Come on, come on, come on. Speed! Speed! So, I'm thinking I'll go with the... But, nope, not the industrial cockpit. Oh, ow. What? Give her a bear. Doing to me, build planner. I want a helm on top. And then we're gonna go with some flat mows all around. Or at least front, back, and side. Do, do, 
do there. No, I need more steel plate. Ah. Everyone's celebrating with the dancing dinos. block anywhere. I think I do. Thank you. Thanks, Elsie, for fixing the weather. Sake of stupid. Oh. Might have to take off before I can place that. <laughs> no, Nuki World. No, I do not want my character to be updated with a mankini. I don't think anyone wants to see a properly 3D modeled mankini on the Space Engineer's character. And if they do... Yeesh. No, the fact that I'm doing armoring on this means I can't help myself. <laughs> I know I need a gyro. Or two. It's okay. Just trying to get the necessary bits welded quickly. Okay, so I've got... Forward, back, left, right, up. Let's get a gyro. Thanks for the five bits, server. Fuel <sighs> critical. Okay, I think that should be everything, and then I can just put the landing gear on. There we go. It's now at a giant schnoz. Here we go. Drop bear. Oh yeah, I probably should call it that. Or gonzo. Yes, I have already named something the drop bear in the past.
Just getting this carefully in place and goodbye. Warhead on them? Probably should have remembered that. Yeah, probably should have remembered that. The ones on the drop pods, I don't believe they're armed, no. I hope. We'll find out. Once I repair this. Alright. Disconnect. This side. I mean, sidewalls wouldn't have prevented what just happened, but yes, sidewalls are something that is that I planned to put on this. I just got sidetracked from building the sidewalls because I had to deal with the music. Say, Chipsix. Like the music dealt with you, you might be right. Yes, yeah, one step forward, two steps back. Story of my life. <laughs> Every time I try and do these things, they always seem to go a little bit wrong. That's why I, I just... Every time someone suggests a grinder pit, I'm like, Oh, no, not again. Not again. I know how this is going to go. I'm going to think I have an idea that'll work. And it'll be wrong for so many reasons. Ghost, if you shoot your teammates because they play fun music, I feel you're in the right. <laughs> it's deserved. Playing fun music is an act of war. <laughs> so glad you're still here, Shadow, for hearing that. <laughs> And war it is. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh. I'm out of silicon. Let's 
Let's try and drop one in anyway. It's the worst that could happen. Whoop. Oh, controlling this thing is not not easy. There we go. Please don't destroy everything. It'll make me sad. <laughs> I think I need another roll of grinders. No, nope. well, I got fresh trash coming in. And Germanic. Oh no! No, 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 no. It's two down. Ow. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. Surprised it was keeping up with me. No, Saddle Nova, if this was a Helldivers moment, the game would have crashed and so would my PC. the other one. Hey Jeff. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing good. Still getting over my last uh, daycare related illness, but I'm good. Oh, let's get rid of the rest of that ammo actually. Just lose these. They're an interesting thought, but I think they're going to make it just too hard for this to hit the grinders. So, uh, this feels like a point I should have done. I should be should have been ready to do a prediction. If I stand here, am I going to die from some of this stuff getting flung out? Whoa! Goodbye. So let's see, you need an emoji of you smashing the word fun with a hammer or using a grinder on it. Yep. Those are the supersonic bits. Oh, 
Well, that silenced the cat back. Whoa. Bye. And now for actually utilizing this pit for something more productive. Because his spirit escaping. Oh, I think this is locked to the ground. No, it's locked in the ground. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's still locked in the ground. I am going to not be attached to it while I free this thing. I think it's good now. Oh no, Andy, things will fly off whether I put um, stuff covering that or not. It'll fly through any blocks I put down. <laughs> so I did... I will build up the walls more just for the sake of getting some of the bits, but... Uh, in general, it doesn't matter. Stuff will go so fast that it'll phase through solid objects. Whoa! Alright, in come the jerks. Let's go land. One of those was a cryopod? Ah, well. Line up to the connector, you stupid thing. Oh dear. Oh. Are these going to get close enough? No. Okay. <clears throat> I felt like those had a slightly higher chance. Maybe a little bit. So, I think the way I've got the missiles set up, they start their kind of descent from inside turret range, and maybe I need them to fly higher and start their descent outside turret range, because then they'll be a proper... then they'll be proper dangerous. So that, maybe that's the tweak that I should make. I'm half tempted to make it now. You know what? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what the change requires. If it requires too much messing around in BS code, I'm not doing it. But... If not... Maybe I could do it. Um, missile behavior. Fighter engage distance planet. 100. Disengage. No, it's not in that file. Which file is it in? Own triggers? 
Ha! Ah. Yes, here we go. Target distance. Let's change this to 750 meters. So it's just inside turret range. And I think I need to make, change my autopilot. Ideal planet altitude. Let's bring that up to 500 and minimum to 400. See if that works. Let's try. Mm. Yeah, what the heck. Yeah, I was really disappointed about the collector base getting cleaned up. I thought I'd gone I thought I'd gone to get on soon enough, but I was too late. Um Unfortunately, after the end of the collector, I got really busy and distracted by a few things and didn't realize how long it had been, which sucks. All right, that's published. Hopefully I didn't just straight up break it. Now I don't need to exit, but I find that it makes me sure that I've done, the, got the new version. There we go. It's updating. Starting the server and let's get back in and you guys can see if you can spawn some missiles that might attack from a little further away. Uh, in fact... I might even call one in manually when we get in. Once the server starts up. Thanks, Zero. Thank you for the prime sub. That I missed in amongst all that nonsense. <laughs> Come on, server, start up. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. No elemental, no game crash, just me doing some, uh, Live updating to the mod to see if I can make the missiles a bit more of a threat. Without making them too much of a threat, hopefully. So what I basically did just then was made it so that the missiles will fly higher on their approach in. And they will dive in on their target from 750 meters away instead of 450 meters away. So let's see what this jerk does. Hopefully it actually attacks me. It's going to be annoying if I have to figure out <laughs> why it's not doing things. Uh, where's another thing I can throw in the pit? It 
It looks so weird having my engineer surrounded by a bunch of fans. That would be pulling a whole bunch of air down on his head. Alright. Missile is inbound. <coughs> it is approaching. Okay, out. Let's watch it. See what it does. Well, parts get flung out of the grinder pit. That's much higher. At least that part seems to be working. And I think... I think that should make it approach much more quickly. In general. Yeah, it... Yeah, that's a lot higher. Yeah. I think with five of them, there's a much higher chance that's going to collide. Yep. Uh, does the missile use warheads or MES explosion action? It uses warheads. Uh, there are multiple warheads on the missile, so it does quite a bit of stacked damage. Despite being small grid. Ooh, that almost hit me in the face. Feel like you should spawn five now? No, that's your responsibility. KB immediately <laughs> redeems polling time. You guys are the ones meant to spawn the bad guys, not me. Why does the pole only have three options? What? No, it doesn't. It's got four. It's got bots, 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 best frenemies, troll -a -lol, -a lol and clear skies. Uh, yeah. Fair enough if, if it takes a moment before it shows the fourth. I guess that's just one of those things. Oof, that didn't sound good. If any of these have ice in them, the grinders will be collecting that ice for me. That's nice. Handy. You know what? Here we go. Let's let's do something different. Uh, create a dashboard. Community? No. Viewer rewards. Channel points. Manage rewards. Let's delete that. Add new community challenge. Um, shareholder meeting. Spawn. Hell fire twice at once. How many points? Let's do this. There we go. Create that. Start that. Okay, cool. Well, I figured since the a group of jerks is a boardroom, having a shareholder meeting sounds pretty awful for anything that we want. 
So if you guys can put enough points towards that, I'll do it. Sixty-five, sixty-seven, seven, seventy thousand raised towards it now. <laughs> Meeting or a hostile takeover? Yeah, yeah. There's so many options if I if we go the corporate naming for the missiles. There's so many good options. Speaking of hostilities. And more hostilities. Oh, I cannot steer this thing. What is wrong with me? Uh oh. It's still got its parachute. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I want to drop this in with its parachute active. Okay. <laughs> if you're going the boardroom route, does that mean the large grid that launches them makes it the, it makes that the area manager? Yeah, potentially. I think Capac would quite appreciate having the area manager be something that's really, really annoying and horrible. So I'm pretty sure his area manager is really annoying and horrible. I was really worried that was going to explode. Oh, I know about the warhead. I just thought I'd take the chance anyway and hope that the parachute would keep it safe. There we go. Oh, this is working. I'm cleaning up some of the junk around here. I have to see how much silver I've got at the end of this. So I should go see what that is over there that's green. Is that part of one of my rovers? Probably is. Bunk. I know I only have two to three thousand hours of playtime, but parachutes keeping warheads safe since when? It's not in the description of either block. My hope was that the parachutes would mean that the warhead uh, bumped the grinders so gently that it didn't explode. I don't know if I was correct or if I just got lucky. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like, I like my little hoverboard. It's stupid, but still works. Go 
<laughs> Look at all the component. Whoa, that was fast. That piece was going a long way away. Any more around here? We've just got the one in the hole. And then all the ones down by the entry. Oh, well, you got your twist that time, chat. It actually did spawn. So I must have cleared enough space. Uh, how many more of these have I got? Three down there? Yeah, four down there. Alright. Wasn't expecting to be able to clean it all up in one go. Where is the shareholder meeting at? Pole endings over the top of it. Oh, well, you're almost halfway to the shareholder meeting. Uh, Lasting Pain is an enemy base. That's what it does. Spawns an enemy base, or as long as there's room for one to spawn. Which can then periodically send drones at me. So my grinder pit is making a mess, but it is getting at least some of the goodies out of these things. And with a lot less pain than me doing it by hand. Uh, for those of you wondering about the community challenge thing that I used in Twitch... It ha I don't see anywhere in the options that I can increase the amount of... That's making a lot of noise. That I can increase the amount of stuff, uh, points that any one person can contribute. Thanks, Moisey. Thank you for the Prime Sub. Probably do... Yeah, I may as well finish off collecting these. Getting rid of them. Poor. Where did that go? <laughs> this is great. Well, Shadow, uh, we talked about the that at the start of this stream. And... The insanity and kindness of chat means that I don't have to worry about it for February. So, a couple of weeks from now, I'll mention it again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Elsie, I get the impression that you can't change it and it's set to a maximum of 2,000 2, per person. Oh, that's a writhe inbound. Can't see through the smoke. Man, I love the report of those big guns. It's so good. I hope Keen um, get whoever did that sound effect to do it for the Gatlings and redo the Gatling sound effect. So it's got a bit more bass. This is the last one, I think. Yeah, nice. Uh, 
Ignore what's on the ground there. I have totally cleaned up the place. Let's go see how much silver I've got. They're just rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, done. Uh, Trekkie, I've avoided doing large grid enemies. Uh, large, mostly because... I was about to say largely because... Uh, <coughs> they have a tendency to do more damage by crashing than they do by their existence. Small grid stuff tends to be able to do more damage by its existence and less damage by crashing. Um, and generally speaking, I prefer stuff that does damage by shooting than damage by crashing. <laughs> Obviously the missiles being an exception to that rule. In your stream idea, catapult golf. Oh dear. Alright, I was going to check how much silver I have. So we've just got the three medical components because I disassemble them. If I go to ingot. We can see that I have a thousand silver. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Eight hundred and twenty three magnesium, nice. Almost eighty thousand iron. Yeah. I am pretty good. I do need to get some silicon though. Fuel low. Uh oh. Fuel critical. Uh, okay, let's go mine some silicon. Don't actually know if I've established a silicon mine. I don't think I have. I think I was relying all on the stuff that I got from the stone mine. Where's my silicon marker? Didn't I have one? Oh, did I turn it off? Uh, silicon. There it is. Where is silicon? 4K is that way. Alright. This is going to be a drive. probably stop trying to take out the trees. Just hoping to just graze them with my wheels so I don't get stopped by them but they still get taken out. <laughs> I really hope I don't have to drive straight back home because you guys get something that I need to run away from. 
I had, a, I had quite a few comments last week on the VOD about why don't you park your rover underground. Um, the main reason I haven't done that with the mines is because it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to dig something that would allow me to park underground. Explode Man, I think you've got the right name to contribute toward the board meeting. Uh, that it's it's definitely on brand. Yeah, so I did talk to Nev when we first started setting up the Twitch integration and talking about what I wanted from it and things like that. We talked about the idea of how you, how we could get people's name from chat into the beacons. Getting names from chat randomly to put in the beacons works, but specifically picking people who picked a poll outcome isn't doable because Twitch doesn't provide that information to the API. Uh, so, if we did it, it'd just have to be a random name from chat. Alright, what's going to be quicker? Mining down to the silicon with my vehicle or just drilling down by hand? I think we'll go with the vehicle because then at least I've got the hole already done. Um... Let's see if I can make a park, a safe parking spot. Oh, oh that is starting way too close to the ground to do that. see if this is going to work. Alright. So I need to do that again because that's not going to be wide enough for the truck. Sixty-three percent toward the meeting. Yep. Yeah. I figure being, I figure using all these corporate names makes sense as I feel like a lot of games are ruined by pressures from these types of corporate overlords. Okay, that should be wide enough. Let's make a little side parking spot. We'll see if this, see if this is doable. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not going to be easy to drive. Kilikov, you're applying your points as you get them. I see. No, Grinch, I'm just... I'm using the right-click mining method to destroy more of the voxel, but not get materials. I think 
that might be wide enough for the rover. Might just go a little bit wider because I'll need to turn around in here. This is why I haven't sort of done this yet, because it is... <laughs> it is slow, and I don't even know if it's going to work. But I guess if it does, I could do it at my uh, nickel, iron, and magnesium mine. Because having somewhere safe to park there would mean that I could get trapped with my rover over there, then have to fight my way back through it to get to bring over the fightless and deal with whatever's there before I can finally drive back. Which I think will still be an interesting enough outcome. <laughs> yeah, Rock Lobster, I choose you, yeah. Rock Lobster is a bit better suited to this. Just trying to give myself a bit of clearance over the top as well. Because I need to be able to land my miner on top of the rover while it's inside. Have I ever contemplated to sculpt a mountain into a self-portrait? Uh... Sort of? But not really? Um... I've certainly contemplated sculpting it in the image of the engineer. Okay, let's give this a try. I feel like I'd have to use voxel hands to be able to attempt it. Just because you have no ability to undo if you stuff it up. Doing it with just drills alone? Oof, that sounds very difficult. Okay, here goes. Alright, this sort of works. Definitely don't want to be going in here quickly. Yes, Michelangelo didn't have voxel hands when he sculpted David. Michelangelo also had someone else paying for his whole existence so that he could do those things. A very wealthy patron. Or two. 
Maybe it's faster to reverse in. Maybe. That is a fair point. Uh-oh. Have I just cut out a whole bunch of the drivable floor? Eh, not really. That's okay. And he also had, you know, talent. <laughs> Artistic talent. I'm not sure I have that much of that. Enough to do that sort of thing. Sculpture was always, always my preference of um, art to do, though. I still got that on my shelf. Where have I got that? There's a statue I carved somewhere around here. Can't remember where I put it. I made it from that aerated uh, Hebel concrete stuff. It kind of looks like an aero chocolate, but concrete. Don't worry, Shadow. I'm not... I'm just saying I don't think I'm up to the sculpt from marble <laughs> level of artistic talent. Marble's hard. And difficult. space. It is so creepy quiet down here. It is. It's weird. So, I've got to figure out how I can do this because I'm not sure I can actually... I'm not sure I actually have the components to be able to put it together anymore. But I've been planning, like I've been gradually over the last few weeks, maybe a month or two, uh, working back up to getting the recording space in my garage set up. Uh, my, one of my graphics cards died this week though. So I'm not sure I have enough components to set up another PC to be a recording PC. But if I do, I was planning on setting that up again and <laughs> one of the things I really want to do especially with Toby's birthday coming up is practice some cake decorating I was half considering doing that on stream down in the garage practicing doing that so that I can make him a cool dinosaur cake Bonk. How close am I to the... No, I'm still at ages. Uh, onboard graphics probably won't be fine, actually, because it needs to encode. Unfortunately. Because, you know, this week my COVID purchased uh, Dell 3070 died. Which is sad. Uh oh. Well, I guess kill all humans means I'm out of here. Or I'm stuck. One of the two. Oh. That would help. <laughs> I was hovering. Ah, uh, this will be enough silicon, so that's why I'm out of here. <laughs> Goodbye.
Drive, 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 drive! Oh, there are a few bots around. Already. The Lucky Dip apparently spawned some bots. Yeah! I think they might be shooting at each other. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I was figuring I can leave then anyway, because I don't usually need much more silicon than what I collected. Should be enough. But before I drive any further... Let's put all the heavy stuff down the bottom. That's going to drive much more safely. Uh, big nerd, pretty sure, uh, with stuff like your components like graphics card, there's not usually much can be done for repair unless it's within warranty. Whoa. Because any componentry that needs replacing will probably cost a lot. Why does it keep disconnecting? Oh, I know why. I'm relying on the batteries from the miner. I kept maxing out power and disconnecting myself from the remote control. Yeah, I've never I've never come across a situation where repairing a PC component at your own cost uh, is worth the cost. Unless it's Clearly just a fan that's busted. Stupid invisible trees. Stupid invisible trees. I've, I would be extremely surprised if Dell did anything about the graphics card that died. Since it's one of theirs. The graphics card is from a pre-built because I bought it mid-COVID. Like early COVID when that was the only way you could get a GPU. Uh... I bought it for use at the office that I had at the time. Uh, and then it ended up being a very useful purchase when my 3090 needed to go to get repaired. Also mid-COVID. When all the lockdowns were going on around here. Ooh, bottom scraping. keep mentioning on stream than, and YouTube that it's a Dell system and you're replacing with an HP model, <laughs> they might do something. <laughs> ah! What the? Jeez. What the heck? Where did that agonize come from? Oh. 
Holy cow. Oops, that'll be a wall. No, 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 don't roll over. Don't roll over. what it took out. Oh, I know what it took out. There's a bit of conveyor missing. I should fix that. That was a lucky bit that it hit. And a couple of thrusters. Yeah, true. That scared the... That was ridiculous. Rover needs to be set to recharge, doesn't it? Uh, actually, no. I just need to get more power on my base so that the rover's batteries get charged up. And they are charging now. So that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you getting jump scared is the scariest thing that happens. Barely beating out you sneezing out of nowhere. Yeah, Shadow, you're right. Okay, on that delightful explosion, I think it's time to wrap up. I've got a bunch of editing I'm going to be doing because I have recorded the next tutorial, which I want to get edited. I also have got more scrapyard to do to edit today for release this weekend. And I'm going to try and get both of those out as soon as I can. The scrapyard thing on Sunday in the usual time slot. Um... <coughs> Hopefully, the tutorial coming either before that or at least soon after. Because I'd really like to get that done. And then on Wednesday, Assertive Acquisitions will be back as usual. But I'll be back here on Monday on Twitch with Shadow and then Capac and TFE and hopefully maybe a text as well. For the latter half of the stream. This is all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Have a good 29th of February, everybody, who's not already in the 1st of March. <laughs>